Hello and welcome back to some more Pokemon and some more frame drops. Gonna have a chill start to this um, recording. Because I believe we are pretty much alone right now. And that's fine. Man, first star. That sounds pretty good. But maybe not in this context. Hello, Surfy! How are you doing this fine weekend? Got heavy balls, baby. Prince Daniel! Tack så mycket för ett trevligt samtal. Ta det nu lugnt, drick lite vatten och älska dig själv. Yeah, same here, Surfy, unfortunately. We're kind of in the same boat in a way. Uh, I wrote on Discord yesterday, received some very bad news from the family, but um, hey, if there's nothing that I can do about it, then there is no reason to, you know, just shut myself off. So, might as well continue doing what I love doing. So these are hard times for everyone. You know, for Daniel, for Surfy, for me, for my family. For the whole world, basically. It's not, not an easy time. And that's why it's important to try to at least have some fun, you know. Focus on the things that makes you happy or gives you peace of mind. And for me, that's, you know, playing video games and playing a bunch of guitar. I mean, I have freaking blisters on my fingers now. It probably won't show up on that shitty camera, but um, man, been playing a lot of uh, guitar and uh, that's fun, you know. It's also a way to distract myself. I mean, Aceback, I can't stop you from doing anything, honestly. If that makes you happy, then go ahead. You have my support. Yeah, that's good. I guess you never need someone's permission to do something like that. Or I might be wrong. Hmm. Ja, som jag sa till uh, Surfy, Daniel, att um, det är viktigt när, att, när saker och ting är svårt eller tufft eller mörkt så måste man försöka hitta någonting som man kan koppla av med, du vet. Det kan vara ett kex, choklad och en kopp kaffe. Som jag har precis här. I don't want to be an un. And systems go down. Okej. Okay. Åh, oh, men. Uh. No thanks. <laughs> Nej, nah, I don't want to. She looks so uncomfortable, like, okay, this guy is really pushing it. Please, I don't want this. I guess as long as you say please, you can just keep asking. And of course, he disappears.
I actually like that animation. It looks great. And also that you slow down as you stand up again. It just feels really well done. <laughs> Everything alright? <laughs> you have a Pokemon? My very own partner! Oh nice! They have the original Pikachu sound. Now I might be hipster, but I like that sound more than the generic anime Pikachu. But hey, nostalgia blind. <laughs> Pika! <laughs> and that's a male Pikachu. Thoughts on the game so far? Very mixed. He has one Pokemon, I have six. So, Ray sent out Pikachu. I'm guessing it's gonna evolve into a Raychu. I thought it was pretty clever. Oh yeah, we can, we can run around. Paralyzed already? Wait, don't we have a berry for that? Yeah, we do. Take it! Stop being paralyzed, okay? That's your last warning. As long as he keeps on doing that, I'm just gonna force berries down its throat. Okay, wow, critical hit as well. So even if I quick attack now, it's gonna be P Pikachu's turn, right? No? Maybe not. Wait, it, paralysis is only half your speed, right? What? Uh, should definitely not have duplicates. I need to bring out my Ponyta. That's the best looking 3D Pikachu I've seen, I think. <laughs> hmm, indeed. Hey, this is good! Wow. Shit, they really throw you this straight away. Oh, okay, so the screenshot will still be like that. I kind of want to snip that. Wait, I can't. I have to... You know, I'm not a Pokemon expert, so it's always good to have something like that. Mm, where is my snipping tool? There it is. Uh, no, I don't. Man, that uh, would really sit well right now with um, my coffee. Types. There we go. And then I can have that on my second screen as we play the game. Yeah, you're not much of a coffee drinker, are you, Surfy? Photos. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop. Um... Wait, what? Wait, what's the difference here? Attack, defense, attack, defense. Oh, I see. Okay, so there's change 
I guess I'd rather have this graph. Or do I? No, I don't. Because it doesn't show all of them. Yeah, exactly. I need both. But yeah, to follow up on your question, Ace about my thoughts on this game. Uh, yeah, of course it's mixed, but it's mixed in a good way. A good enough way so I can focus on, you know, the positive aspects about the game. And in the end, have fun with it. And maybe try to, you know, laugh at some of the other lesser parts. Zizu? Oh, you have to master the move. Okay. Hey, that's what I talked about in the last stream. That it should use more PP. And it does. Don't you don't you give me any low tier jokes here. This stream has standards. We're professionals. <laughs> I mean, we do have standards, but they're... The bar is really low. Man, there's no anti-aliasing at all, is there? Because you can see those steps like crazy on the scaffold. But at the same time, it makes the game look a little bit sharper. So I don't mind that much, I guess. Now imagine if uh, you're playing this on default shitty TV settings and you have sharpness on top of um, the aliasing. <laughs> Man, I wish. I, I believe Digital Foundry made a video on um, an HDMI adapter, I believe, that can anti-alias footage before it goes to the TV. But uh, the results were minor, so not really worth the price, in most cases. Yeah... I don't think it was a cape. Was it a cable, though? It might have been a cable. Yeah? Probably. Uh, yeah, we'll continue. No, I need my pony! How do I change... my party? Let's see, is it map? No, that's just missions and requests. Wormple. Oh, didn't I catch that though? Yeah, I did. New request. Okay, that's good, you can see it on the map. What's with the flying icon? Practice. Okay. Uh, party. Let's see. Should be here. Grab. Summary. I hate this game while also being like... No, 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 no. Don't you fucking say that. I never, I never said I hated this game. I said my feelings are mixed. And I'm trying to focus on the positives. 
Lost and found. The fuck. If you black out in the field, you may lose some of your items. It's basically a Dark Souls. Hmm. Wait, Max? Max the um, Mario Golf guy? Mystery gifts? Clothing. The interweaves. This is copy and pasted from Shining Pearl. Okay. Hey, Fox Mac <laughs> Max Mask. Mr. Gifts. Uh, let's check them out, I guess. Uh, wait. Yeah, might as well keep it connected. Automatically. Yeah, sure. Why not? I want to swap out my Pokemon for my Ponyta. But I can't. I don't know how. Hmm. <laughs> and there's no Pokemon Center in these games, right? Oh, wow. Wait, which one was it? Yeah, it was this one. Rest in a bed, a tent. Hi, Perry. Oh, my freaking second screen, it just dies randomly. I don't understand why it does that. Maybe it's because my main monitor isn't being used by the PC when I switch it over to the HDMI cable. So what if we do second screen only? Will that work? I don't think it will because that goes to the TV. Fucking technical issues! Damn it. Okay. And the wonder button seems to almost work. Pretty close. So I have one of these multi action buttons on my. Oh, god damn! Wow! Uh, I, I told you, the cam isn't really working out. Carry my fucking man. What was that? Let me check. Mr. Pierre is continuing the gift sub they got from. Oh, see, so yeah, you got a gift sub from Fry Guy. And then you continue it on your own. Is that how it works? Yeah, the stream isn't even online. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, okay. Nice. Thank you so much, Pierre. I really appreciate it. Okay, so I have one of these multi-action buttons on my stream deck, which should just sort all of the windows in a nice organized line on my second monitor. And it seems to work as intended now. <laughs> Almost. Fuck. I really need a third monitor. Goddamn. That would help so much with this. But we'll get that 
at some point. Okay, let's see. Will this one work? Uh, yeah, it does. Great. Mr. P renewed it for him. But you got to fix that camera, dude. <laughs> it's black and white now. I guess that's better than nothing. Okay, work. It... It doesn't show me that. Okay, okay. Now. Everything's good. Everything is working. Okay, so what is with this fox mask shit? Hey, that looks pretty cool though. So aggressive against me. Ace hey, back. I'm doing my very best here. And also the game is in 30 FPS, so what's the point in streaming in 60? It's just wasted frames. Wasted duplicate frames. Oh, so that that's it. You know, that's that's really cool with the white hair. Not gonna lie. But I kind of like our Sephiroth style as well. Hmm. I'll leave without changing, I guess. It's like my Resident Evil cover. Yeah, I don't know. I had a very good time with Uncharted 4 in 30. And I will definitely be replaying it in 60. Whenever the time is right. Uh, okay, so we need to go to bed, according to the Pierre man. Yeah, you know what feels even better? 165. Or technically 157 with G-Sync, so you get lower input lag. That's the sweet spot. Uh, oh wait, here it was, right? No? Wait, you have to... Did you say go to bed? And what else? How will that change my Pokemon? Uh, team. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, I guess it's something you kind of uh, train, you know? You get better and better to notice the differences. You know, every time I, I put my monitor from like 120 to 60 hertz, uh, for example, when I stream GameCube games on the Dolphin, I put the monitor at 60 hertz so we get better frame pacing. Um, oh wait, that's not, that's not true. I go with 120 because you can divide that by two. And also you get less input lag because of G-Sync. Technical talk. No one understands. <laughs> Rest to fully heal them, and then you want to change the setup, you have to go... What? Why do I need to heal them, though? Heal them, and you want to change the setup, you have to go to the lady to the right of the gate. Yeah, but... Oh, wait, the Ponyta I caught, it's still damaged, right? Uh, I want to go to evening. You have a 144 hertz monitor, Surfy, but your PC can't do that anymore for some reason? It, it can't output 144? Okay. Is it uh, the the graphics card or the the cable? Are you using display? Ports over the bridge over here. We're gonna head there either way, so. Man, that sucks. Are you talking about FPS? Okay, so your monitor is still outputting 144. Okay, thanks, man. Yeah, that makes sense. The pony is right here. Okay. Do you have uh, G-Sync? Fucking finally.
bite off. Get out of my house. We don't want Wormpole, do we? Why not? Okay, and also I would like to change their moves or switch them around. Can we do that? So Ember is first. Let's try in, in this menu. Change moves? Yeah, I wish. You have to be able to change it, right? That has been a thing in every single Pokemon game. Oops. Uh, check moves. Yeah, there we go. There it is. Then becomes fixated on using this move. Okay. Rock. Okay, I didn't know that. We don't have so much special attack with Cyndaquil. Oh, wait. It, it's actually higher than attack. Okay. Uh, yeah, I missed. Let's see here. It's a really cheap kind of old monitor. Switch games made me not care too much about visuals, to be fair. If it's uh, moving, I don't care. You know, honestly, I can agree with that. There are many Switch games where I initially go in with that uh, PC Master Race attitude. Like, oh, this is shit. Oh, 30 FPS. Oh, 828p, whatever. But then you focus on the game itself and what it has to offer. And you you can adapt, you know, you can... You know, I don't think this looks that good for the year 2022 AAA Nintendo game. I don't... But I can still appreciate what's being offered here. And uh, that's also true, depending on the game, of course, but... Uh, I agree. Stable frame rate is much more important. Uh, let's see, I just don't, don't want to miss any chat messages. Fuck bite off, yeah. Bidoof. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay, that was it. Cam is in black and white and super laggy. All according to plan. Wait, we need, we need to get the new request. Hmm, I agree. I agree. You know, for example, Splatoon 3 will be in 60 FPS, just like the other games. But the resolution will be kind of low with some anti-aliasing, if they follow the footsteps of Splatoon 2. And of course, sometimes it can look very jagged and you know, rough. But, um, you know, the gameplay is so freaking good. And when you have stable 60 FPS with uh, gyro aim, it just feels amazing. Now, I would, you know, in my gaming heart, I would love to play those types of games, you know, fast-paced action games. I would love to play them in 120 FPS. And I hope, to dear God, that Nintendo will realize the difference at some point. Okay, so where can I catch one of these? Let's see if there's anything new over here. Yeah, exactly. Many times when I played, uh, you know, the, the competitive mode. I just focused on what do I need to do to make our team win. And since the game is so well designed with its uh, you know color, the ink, turf and everything, you you don't need that extra fidelity in order to play better. But the frame rate would help, you know. If you were playing Splatoon with gyro aim and everything is going on very fast, having 120 would make it so much less disorienting. 
And maybe. Maybe Splatoon 4 on the next Switch Pro Nintendo Nexus. Just, you know, something. Would be good. They can keep... Nintendo can keep being 1080p. I don't give a fuck. But 120 FPS in gameplay. Oh my god, that feels so good. Woo! <laughs> Let's go. You know, I wouldn't mind if there was a mode on the next Nintendo console to play in, you know, like 540p at 120 FPS. I wouldn't mind. I would love that for certain games. Wait, what did I do? The Wurmple, okay. Take this. Your Splatoon experience is randoms adding you with 2k hours or more. Yeah, what's up with that? Mark my words, I'm gonna be one of those people. No, not really. I don't want to be too stuck on one game, especially when I'm streaming so much. Hmm. Beauty Fred. Beauty see Beauty Sia. Be Be Beauty Sia. Beauty Fred. Be Be Beyond Jean? By the way, you guys won't get Splatoon 3, right? Beauty Fred. I like Fred. Hey, it's Fred! And I brushed my teeth because I have a dentist appointment today. Can you believe that Fred was the first YouTube channel to reach 1 million subscribers? Old YouTube lore. Where's Fred today? He's dead, right? Not dead, but you know, he isn't doing anything. You would buy it, but you won't play it. Slow reactions. Yeah, but what I noticed when playing through the single player content of Splatoon 1 and 2 and the DLC is that you can definitely enjoy those games uh, slow paced. And I've been watching a couple of, um, you know, Splatoon videos on YouTube, especially lore videos. And some of these uh, people who focus on the lore and story, they have their own gameplay in the background, you know, from when they play multiplayer. And I can guarantee you, Aspect, that there are so many different levels of play in Splatoon. So you don't have to be fast and try hard. You can, you know, just take it easy and have fun with it. Because the game is built so everyone can enjoy it. And especially the single player aspect. I think you would enjoy that. That's what hooked me first. I played Splatoon because of the gameplay and because it's, you know, a Nintendo IP that I want to get to know better. But the first thing I fell in love with was um, the gameplay and then everything else surrounding it. And uh, recently, um, leading up to Splatoon 3, I've been reading up more and more about the lore. And let me tell you, holy shit, there is so much lore in Splatoon that is uh, hidden and not, um, you know, up front. And I kind of like that. I really do. It reminds me of uh, Silent Hill 2 and why that's my favorite game of all time. Because all of the hidden lore pieces are just that. You have to find it, you have to piece it together, and it's so freaking good. From behind, higher chance of successful catch. Advantage. Backstrike! I like preemptive strike more, honestly. Father is John Cena? He sold the channel. How about I don't buy it or play it? Yeah, you, you do whatever, man. <laughs> Next buy on eShop is Kirby, and then you know. Official lore. There is a lot of official lore in Splatoon. That's um, not up front. Oh, apparent? What do you say? Obvious? Spoon-fed? You know what I mean. Mushroom cake! We can learn to do the Mario! It is? No way. Wait, won't uh, Omori come out before Kirby? We don't know yet. I'll be waiting. 
You do that. Yeah, I want to play during the evening. It's so beautiful. <gasps> and we don't have all of that shitty purple shade anymore. Didn't they say spring? Or I guess that... Never mind. Where did the shade go? Sing it with me. Where did the purple go? I ask Rambo Commando. Rambo Commando, where did the perp go? The, the perp. It's time to bring out Rapid Pony Dash. Kick his ass. Wait, we need to do the back attack thing. If we can. Maybe from the grass. It still looks so weird. So what do we do? We throw the Pokeball from behind? Oh yeah, there we go. No? Did that count? Nice. How does it feel, Ponyta? A Bidoff ran away from you. A freaking pony. You're supposed to be fast. Turn around, please. Will this work? Yeah, there we go. Tackle, I guess? I don't know which stat is higher, but uh, I guess this will be a type bonus. Buy means two, and doof is stupid. It's too, it's too stupid. That's good. Way to go! You're burning up the entire field, but that's okay. Oh yeah, I need to check the... Pokédex. Speak. What was that? I want to hear the other sound. Well, this resolution though, wow, we. Okay. I don't mind me. Number defeated. Defeated with ground type move. We don't have one, I think. Times we've seen it using bite. I guess we can just, yeah, keep on defeating it. Back attack! Hmm, imagine. Kick him in the ass. I will prevent them from running away. I don't think it hurts me. Wow. Oh! Drifloom! Dr Drifloom? Drifloom? I need him. He's my favorite. I need to save. Whew. Wait, is it because it's... No, it's not Friday. Shit. Okay, I thought Drifloom was uh, Friday only Pokemon. At least in Gen 4 it is. Okay, B. Woo! I guess we can just catch it right away. Please work. No! No! Pony! Get him! Yeah, it's kind of sad. It's not too far behind. Like, if I'm honest now, honest. If I compare the GameCube with progressive scan on a CRT and they're like, what? and I play F0GX in widescreen mode and then I look at this game the difference is not 20 years, okay? 
Or it's soon to... Yeah, it is pretty much 20. Yeah, I know. That's what I meant. Oh, wow. I didn't pay attention. We need to catch him now. I'm just saying. f Zero GX looks better than this game. And that's just my opinion. But it makes me pretty damn sad. Because that's like two decades ago. And then you look at this. I don't know. Of course you can argue that, oh wow, okay, so the Switch is portable, dude. Give it some slack. Yeah. Sure. I ain't buying it. Uh, I need to bring out my balloon boy. I need him. Now my face is so red from behind. You see that? So freaking red. I look sunburnt. Fuck him up. Ouch. Music? Hey, we can do it here. Wow, okay, that's good. It has confusion only. That's fine. Uh, by the get the fuck out of here. Oh, yeah, and then the switch uh, used it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, the second version of Switch, which I have, it uses the Tegra X2? Or was it just... Um, it was something else. You know, it still runs on the same clock speed, but it's, um, it's a faster processor? It was something like that, because that's what makes the battery last longer. Happy and healthy. Okay, look at this extreme acceleration. Oh man, I will never get over that. I do have to say, I like the skybox. It feels different and it looks good. They nailed it. <laughs> I like that. Semi transparent. Are you seeing this? Just a bunch of pixels. It's like old school uh, transparency. Are we ready for this? <laughs> that texture though. The Diamond Clan. I suppose you might not even know what a warden is if you're new to his feet. But such talk can wait. Right now, I'd rather we get straight to the point. Aceback, you need to elaborate. You said no, but what's with the second version of Switch? What did they upgrade? Because they, from my memory, they upgraded the processor. But still running at the same clock speed. 
No. <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah. So that's what it was. Yeah, definitely. I'm gonna hide. With this bass guitar, though. Uh, this was rock, yeah. Holy shit! Yeah, there's music! God damn. God fucking damn. Might as well do this so we have two turns. Didn't do much though. And then. Yeah, strong. Kind of reminiscent of um, the first gym in Gold and Silver. The second gym? Uh, okay, so that ground attack is gonna kill my ponytail right away. Which means that it will miss Drifloon. Right? So it's a revision of the Tegra X1. Okay. I just know that they upgraded it in some way. I thought it was the X2, but no. So, Munchlax can't do anything now. Oh, never mind. It can hit. And it's super effective. I think Whirlpool can do it. Yeah, quick attack. Yeah, okay, so that was my memory, that they upgraded it so the battery lasted longer. But, um, yeah, the, it still ru runs on the same clock speed. So you don't get better frame rates in any game, which is sad. Because people have been overclocking it to get stable 60 FPS in, you know, Link's Awakening, for example. Now, I need to look this up as the horrible Pokemon player that I am. So, Rollout is a ground type move, right? And Drifloon is ghost flying, which means that ground should miss, right? That's how it is. Um, where's ground? There it is, okay. So ground attack on flying misses, and it's neutral versus ghost. But since I'm a flying ghost, why did it hit? And why was it super effective? I don't understand. I'm missing something? Oh, rollout is rock! <laughs> Never mind. Wow, you're right. Yeah, that explains it. Thank you, Surfy. That really explains all of it. And that's why it's super effective, because um, rock on flying. That face, it looks so weird. I look really sunburned. Is that a thing, if you, if you stay out too long? You throw boulders? 
Are you talking about rollout now? I mean rock type moves in general. Okay. Sino. Yeah, we learned about this in Shining Pearl. Venerate. And of course, they disappear. Uh, is there anything we want to do before we continue? Oh. Uh, let's uh, check our requests. By the way, if you guys want me to uh, read the cutscenes, let me know. Wait, you can only have one flag at a time? Yeah, that's... Wow, okay. Why can't you have a yellow flag for the main quest and a blue flag for requests? Springy mushroom. Creaky toots, Pokedex page. Yeah, I still like the map. It's not in full HD though, but hey, it still looks good. Is that Cricket Toot? Yeah, honestly, I like this music more than Breath of the Wild. Because they're mixing the ambience with music very well. And I mean overall. I'm not saying that um, there is no track in Breath of the Wild that's better than any of this. I'm just saying how, how they're using the music overall in the wilderness is better here, in my opinion. Is that a big Drifloon? It looks so much bigger. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's like, what? Fuck! <laughs> How do you know? No, he doesn't. Mine is better! Oh, he's so 20 nanometers to 16. So that's the switch revision. Okay. Hypnosis. Uh, no. Yeah, I think it's gonna kick my ass. Most likely, yes. Should we switch? Thunderbolt would probably knock it out, though. But we try it. Wait, how, how do we switch? X? Oh, you have to go in here. Fucking Maxwell! Wait, what? No, not you.
please don't die. Should be able to catch it now. It's not doing anything. Yeah, what's the one uh, that 1080 has? Is it Pascal? No? Was that the 20 series? No, I believe Pascal is uh, the 10 series. I might be wrong though. Come on, dude! Yeah, you do that. Let's go back and switch. That's the name of the game. So there's no fast travel, right? I can't just... Well, you can fast travel. Wow, okay, that's pretty fast, though. Let's make it... Evening again. <laughs> I'm a sucker for sunsets. And we don't uh, get the purple hue, either. Uh, there we go. I'm sorry, Drifloon. You're out of here. Astonish. Yeah, that's good. At least we have one ghost type move. But this one has, her, has more HP. Hmm. But this one has more special attack, so. Okay. On turning? Would be great. What do you mean on turning? Cricky toot. Mm. Yeah, I think I want Cricky toot instead of Wurmp. Ponyta is so fucking weak. Hello, Pierre. Welcome back. I need to make more Pokeballs. And I can't. Revive. Yeah, sure. There we go. We need... Tumblestone. Where did we find Tumblestone? The funny man! Oh yeah, but I couldn't uh, mine it. Don't you need a tool or something? Because nothing happened when I clicked on them. Or do you throw your Pokemon at them? Wow, okay. <laughs> it, it makes sense, but at the same time... Sure. Huh. Sure. Eight nanometers. You see, that's what's interesting in the future of both mobile phones and these hybrid types of consoles like the Switch. Like, goddamn. The portable power is gonna be crazy. Because here's the thing, right? The stronger are. Uh, let's see. Dedicated? Shit, how am I gonna explain this? Uh, Non-portable machines. There's a good word for that. <laughs> stationary, there we go. So stationary um, machines like PC and console, the stronger they are and get over the decades, 
the less difference we're gonna see because we're nearing the transparency level in a way. Like sooner or later, we're not gonna see a difference between 120 FPS and 240 or whatever. And so the only main thing we can develop is the portability instead. So we can get like 120 Hertz on a portable device, you know, imagine a souped up switch in five years. So you get the best of both worlds. Strong, portable action. Now, stationary will always, always be stronger per cost, you know? Because you're not paying for the port portable aspects. Oops. Yeah, but also the battery life, it's gonna get better with time. <laughs> A mini reactor. Yeah, that's happening soon. Okay, so this was rock. Yeah, and it's super effective. Let's go. Okay, so can I stop? Yeah, we can. But there's no reason, just continue. Wait, can I choose something else? Wait, what? It was fixated. Uh, I can still use quick attack? This makes no sense. Potion time. Maybe... Yeah, whatever. So what do we need to do with Baiduf? Heavy... Defeat. I guess that's it. Just keep on defeating them, but how fun is that? Yeah, that's a good word, uh, Iceback. It's gonna be more and more bloated. Oh, holy shit. As time goes on. So I have faith in Nintendo, because my guess is that they will never really go back to stationary consoles because the handheld market they have kind of a monopoly on that in a way unless you count smartphones of course but when you when you count these dedicated gaming devices nintendo has been you know dominating that shit with the ds 3ds and so on and now the switch and most likely that their next console is also going to be a hybrid so they they cater to both audiences you know you and me we barely, if ever, play uh, Switch handheld. You know, I, I almost never ever do it. There are some instances, instances here and there. But uh, I think Nintendo will continue with that. For me, it's just a no-brainer at this point. It's so convenient. Uh, I could probably run Crisis 4, but, you know, very low resolution and frame rates. The 1080 graphics card won't be, you know, completely crushed by that game. 1% undocked to report. What do you mean report? Do you mean most users? Oh yeah, the CPU though. That, that's another thing. You're right. There we go. End of the year Switch review. So you're talking about what how you use the Switch. Getting kidnapped. Are you talking about uh, Drifloon? Kidnapping children? What does uh, Honeys do? Aha. Uh -huh. So bug and fairy types will be attracted to the honey? Oh, you mean like that? Okay. Did we ever explore this place over here? I don't even think we can go very far. 
We'll check it out. Oops. Uh, defeated. With ground type moves. Yeah, we can do that with um, Cyndaquil. And hopefully it will use Bite. Let's get it! Man, am I the only one who thinks about uh, Breath of the Wild every time that piano kicks in? Because it reminds me of uh, the Guardians, you know, that crazy piano intro. And then the battles in this game is like piano, piano, and then uh, the riff starts. I don't know, it's a, it's a cool thing. Yeah, we can... I forget we can keep on moving. It didn't use Bite. And the menuing in this game is much faster than the normal Pokemon games. Because you have to open up the main menu, select Bag, scroll over to the healing items. And in this game it's just D-pad up, BAM! You have all of it right here. So convenient. And it's fast. If I don't move, I don't exist. Wait, what's the deal with this one then? Caught at night? Defeated... Defeated with ghost type moves. Okay. Yeah, we, we're gonna do that. Do you know why I would upgrade to a stronger switch? Uh, let me know. You already know my, um, my answer, right? Do, do you know? What's my main reason for upgrading to a stronger switch if, you know, there comes one? I think you should know that answer. The fucking eShop runs like shit. Yeah, I agree. I think it's kind of... <laughs> silly. That, um... Wait, why, why can't I change? Oh, there we go. It's so silly. Because the eShop is Nintendo's main way of making money, right? So they should focus on making the eShop run as smoothly as possible and be colorful and, you know, different themes, different music. AKA, what the fucking uh, Wii U did. You know, it changed its music from time to time. It had different themes. It loaded pretty quickly overall. I just think the, the, the Switch eShop is a massive step down from uh, Wii U. And it lags so much, and there aren't many good filtering options. Very few options overall. Makes no sense. Hey, and guess what? I, I know I always rant on this, but hey, the Switch is like five years old in one month. We have this menu for themes. The fuck is this? Like seriously, the 3DS had so many themes. What is the freaking point? I don't understand. Wow, this music is great. And I take off my headphones. <laughs> so, can I go over here? Don't give me invisible wall bullshit. Whoo! That's a big boy! <laughs> God damn it. I kind of wish you could jump in this game. Uh, no, you don't. Isn't that weird? They have different uh, Switch themes, you know, on the dock. You have the Animal Crossing one, the Smash one. Um, Splatoon themed Switches. Zelda themed Switches and Pro Controllers. You have themes of so many things. And the Joy-Cons, like how many colors are there now? Like, 14? Different themes and colors, at, at least 14 in total. But the Switch itself, how hard can it be to add themes, you know? Just change the freaking sound effects, change how it looks, gives it, give it some background, maybe add some music, and you can control the level of the music. It is feasible, it's not difficult, and they can... You know what boggles my mind? They can make money! from this. 
They can sell these themes for 50 crowns each. Easy. I would buy them. I would buy a Splatoon theme for, um, you know, $5 or maybe 10 I don't know. It has to be a really good theme then. They can make so much money from it and have sales and shit and, you know, deluxe edition, you know, buy Splatoon 3 deluxe edition and you get this and a theme and whatnot. But you know what? The only thing we get is this weird ass purple hue. And my voice is dying. Cream doesn't really matter. Okay. Yeah, I needed that, Fieri. You don't need to tell me, boy. I have it right here. <clears throat> Drink. Caught without getting spotted. I guess it's too late now. Uh, 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 uh. What do you want? Hello? Is it playing with me? Greetings? Man, that's pretty cute. Hello. This is so freaking cute, dude! You know, I'm, I'm thinking about every single Pokemon game I've played two decades ago. And see how much it has evolved. And now we can finally run around in the world and see Pokemon in the wild instead of, you know, random encounters. And some of them are aggressive, some of them are dangerous, like the Rapidash and Snorlax with the red eyes. And some of them are just cute and innocent. Just uh, a human goes up. You see, it's playing with me. This is a massive plus for this game. Goddamn. Small details like that enhances my experience with the game tenfold. No, but what? I didn't mean to do that. Wait, wait, the bug Pokemon would like it though. No? I lost my honey. I did get... Uh... No, okay. No? Did I get... Yeah, there we go, without getting spotted. Well, the Switch has sold more than the original PlayStation now. Not bad. Not bad at all. What is that? You can swim?! You can't swim? Come on, girl. Will you get damaged for that? Why, why can't you swim? I am truly disappointed. Wait, we didn't defeat it with ground type? Oh, no, we didn't. Roll out this rock. Why do I keep on forgetting that? Oh, yeah, it did. Wow. You know what was so cool with the Wii? That it included a game. A good game. The Switch? It had the opportunity to include one, two Switch to really show off its hardware. But no. And uh, let's see, Nintendo Land for the Wii U. That wasn't included, right? I mean, there were packs, of course, but I don't think it was always included. Maybe it was. Uh, wait, who am I looking at? Cricketoot? Yeah. Without getting spotted, defeated. We haven't done that yet. Let's fuck him up. Yeah, because I still believe that 1-2 Switch isn't worth the cost. And knowing N Nintendo, they probably still have it at full price. I don't know anyone who owns that game. And I, you know, I've talked to a lot of people who owns a Switch. No one 
bought one to switch. No, Surf, you broke it! Fuck! All this time, I could say that with confidence. And you just had to fuck it up! <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, okay. Follow-up question. Do you enjoy that game? Do you think it's worth the full price? Give me a 500 word... Wow. Um, review. Right here. Log? Wood? Okay. Okay. Times you have given it food. Ooh, wait. Take my battery. Nice. Uh, what else? Okay, so what's the deal with um, the red arrows? I mean the white arrows on red background. I guess we can continue catching them without getting spotted. Uh, crafting table. Yeah, we do. We have portable crafting. Hell that. Yeah, it's very calming in a way. I like it. Have you played this game too? Okay, let's see. Can we craft with the key item? Yeah, there we go. Uh, we should make lots of Pokeballs. We don't have black tumble stone. Okay, so the green arrows means that we have a higher, higher chance of catching it. I would assume so. Oh! You see, that's cool. He notices uh, his friend is gone. Okay, something is... Something's going on. I haven't been spotted yet. Look at my long distance throw. You see, it's wary. Nice, nice. It would be cool if um, if you throw your Pokeball without using the lock-on, you have a higher chance of catching it. You know, like a reward for aiming manually. Like, look, look at this. Oh my god, can you imagine? Holy shit, that would be so cool. I like checkboxes in games uh, you can fulfill. Ah, I see. Like a completionist? You know, I, I can enjoy that. I can enjoy, you know, completing lists and fill out the map and, you know, just make everything as complete as possible. I think I have a very healthy balance when it comes to that. You know, I never feel forced to do it. I've never really played games for, you know, achievements and stuff like that. My goal is always to have a good time with video games. And if collecting stuff is genuinely fun for me, I will do it. And if it's not, I don't, you know, I don't mind leaving games unfinished in that way. The only thing that really matters, I guess, 
uh, except for having fun, is to finish the main story. Man, the more I play this game, the more I... <laughs> can't go back to the original Pokemon games. Like, this is so freaking nice, having semi-open world. And just, you know, seeing the Pokemons in the wild, seeing them interact, and you can catch them quickly. I don't know. This is so much better. This is what the uh, Sword and Shield should have been. In terms of gameplay. But hey. Man, you can really grind fast by just catching Pokemons. No! Hmm. Hello. Ho oh, there! Mind helping a guy out. I'm off to some cherry berries. You know them? The shiny red ones. They grow on some of the trees around here, but I don't have any Pokemon that can reach them for me. That's where you come, from, come in. Okay. Yeah, sure. Bjorn! Ha! Hey, Geodude. Wait, there's no gyro when aiming, right? Maybe there's an option. No? Let's see. Nope. Oh, motion sensitivity. There we go. Let's try to... Maybe? Yeah, there we go. Uh, okay, I don't like aiming in thir 30 FPS, but at least it's better than... Yeah, aiming with the stick. It's kind of sensitive though, but I, I think I can learn. I'm trying to pinpoint the, the torches. Uh, well. Wait, can we reset? Is there any button to reset the, the gyro? It's like a very basic function. Oops. Can I pick it up? No. Oh well. Pep up plant. Imagine all the speedruns gonna trying to find these out of bounds places. Please tell me we have grass type moves. Yeah, we do. Uh, let's see. How do we check our to do list? Well, we can't do that in battle. Or can we? Tackle should do it, but yeah. Where's the other dude? Oh, Cricket Dude can evolve. Should we? Huh, it's so weird that you have to 
order it to evolve. Wow. <laughs> that sound. Okay, so my older brother wrote that um, he put up the stream and, and showed my father. But that was like 40 minutes ago, so I don't know if they still have it up. But in case they do, hi. Oh, that's a, that's a fake mine. Okay, so you can lock on, but, but still use the gyro. Beyblade Metal Fusion, your favorite Wii game. Oh? Man, I played a lot with Beyblade back in the day and also watched um, the first anime. Okay. There's a freaking Geodude in there. But are, are the Beyblade games fun? Oh, it probably has um, sturdy though. Porygon, cool. It didn't have sturdy. 39. Shit. That's no good. I want that uh, crystal thingy. We probably can't get it from here. Okay. Wow. Hmm. And this feels like World of Warcraft. Oh. I have a feeling that mountain climbing isn't one of this game. It's uh, focus points. But you can get up there, it seems. Fuck him up, baby. Yeah, I already did that. Is to try it out. And I used it on stream when playing Mario Golf. You know, it works surprisingly well. It just feels weird that you need to have a third party thing. to access, um, you know, basic stuff in today's consoles. Oh, he is dangerous. Uh, maybe we don't want to continue on this path. And they make it seem like you can almost climb it, you see? But maybe you can. Huh. You can. Goddamn, nice. That was good. 
It just felt like all of the, the mountains so far, slopes or cliffs, they have this hidden like wall that automatic, automatically pushes you down. But not here. Uh, Mario Kart, right? No? There's no... I thought it was um, voice chat in those games. Or maybe Ace Back, you're talking about um, the game specific apps. Like um, in Smash, you can organize your spirits and shit. In uh, Animal Crossing, you can do other stuff. Like getting costume textures. And in Splatoon, you can uh, manage your inventory, your weapons and loadouts. I think that's what you, you mean. But in terms of voice chat, I think a lot of games are compatible. It just isn't game specific. Wait, I I'm right? No way! That's the first time ever! Let's celebrate by catching a Zubat. What? He was like, fuck that shit. I can dodge roll. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Uh, use rock type moves. Yeah, Aceback used praise. Crims got confused. Fucking Subat! This is nice, but um, I have to be honest. Oops. It doesn't look finished. I'm sorry. This looks so barren. It looks... On in my honest opinion, it looks effortless in a bad way. Like, they didn't put enough effort. It, it makes the world feel, yeah, barren and incomplete. But hey. Oh, nice. Let's see, rock, is it super effective against electric? I don't think it is. No, it isn't. Kick his ass. Yikes. Double hit. Wait, what did it do? To increase damage dealt by its moves by 50%. Huh. Okay. Strong style. Maybe we need to use uh, revive. Okay, a long distance catch. Here it comes. Fuck. Ah! 
No. It knows we're here. Damn it. So that's a normal type, right? You know, I also like how easy it is to change your starting Pokemon in a fight. Just press L and R. After playing Shining Pearl for, you know, so many hours. It just feels much better. Catch this fucking bat. <sighs> really? There it is. Yeah, it was on alert, of course. Okay, pony boy. Yeah, it is a boy. I just realized. Oh, that's like Ocarina of Time. It just moves so fast. A little bit too fast. I wish they could make the day-night cycle last longer. We did see it used gust. It did that before. Rock type moves. Hmm. That's not gonna work. Wow, it did. Shit, that's a lot of XP. Nope. 
but it's so violent. What if we throw another one as soon as it gets out? Anywhere we can climb. Hello? Hey, dude. Come down just a little bit. Black Tumblestone, you know what that means. We're gonna get ourselves some heavy balls. Right now. Um. Uh, hello. Where is it? Playing Invisimon. Okay. That was pretty weird. Hey, Chimchar. Let's go. Finding a random sorter out in the wild. But we need to be careful. I can't believe it. You're uh -huh. incredible. Okay, turn around, boy. Ball of mud. What does that do? Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna stun him with this. You just need to turn around first. No, 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 no. Don't come over here. Shit. Okay, let's go. 
That's... There we go. Oh! Can be ready. Nice. So, are we using Ponyta or Chimchar? Now we can't use <laughs> three. Uh, yeah. I don't know, I'm gonna stick to Ponyta. Shinx, go ahead and evolve. No, 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 no. No. Oh wow, it doesn't reach far at all. Shit. Wow, really? What's with the music? This monkey is gonna die. Oof! What a hit. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Fuck. I'm messing up my buttons. Uh, yeah, let's go. Oh wow, he's uh, strong. Well, you can start by drinking some water, my man. And then I'll tell you what's what. Oh yeah, he's fighting, so flying is good. Mm, I 
think I want to catch him. This attack never misses. I guess we're not catching him. Okay, so I might be taking a food break pretty soon. And I think that before we do that, we might as well end the stream by playing some guitar. That could be fun. And then come back this evening. Yeah, two hours without break. So I'm thinking instead of taking a break, I should just take a full on food break and come back with full energy. But it depends. I might hang out at, um, you know, Ultimate Decidia's place today. This evening with uh, Mr. Pierre. If he has enough time. Because he uh, is busy with other things as of now. So that might happen. Uh, if it doesn't, I'll just stream this evening as well. Yeah, that, that's one thing we can do, you know. You, me, Pierre and Ultimate Mario Party. And you can show me your six skills after playing Mario Party for like 300 hours. Or however long you have played. <laughs> okay, this this freaking day. Uh... Man, I look so badass with the black Pokeball as well. Ah. Oh god, it's so difficult. There it is. Didn't feel so effective though. Oh, never mind. Man, this music is good. I do have a, you know, blisters on my fingers, so it, it still hurts to play. But we can probably play the songs I've learned because I need to practice. 70 hours, okay. Taking ages to do anything. Okay, so is that because um, he's just generally slow or he's taking his time to, you know, calculate the best possible move at that moment? Because I usually, you know, have a good mix. Cries out because of barring. Oh, that's what it's called. Yeah. But I think that's com exactly like Breath of the Wild. When you pick up stuff and it, it shows up on the right uh, side of the screen. And with the, the one X and the icon and the name of it. It's very, very similar. But hey, I'm not complaining. <laughs> uh, I don't think I want to do this now. Or do I? He practices a lot. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, so, you know, before the mini games, he practice the mini game itself before actually doing it. I don't like that. I like it when, um, you know, as soon as everyone understands what the mini game is about, you play. You don't practice to get good at it in order to win. But I guess it depends, you know. Depends on what people are fine with. But yeah, we will save it up here on this height. And we will return. Possibly. But uh, Ace Pack, are you up for Mario Party later? With me and Pierre and Ultimate? I wish we could stream that. But my brother doesn't have a streaming setup. Okay, so... I'm gonna skip uh, most likely around 8 or 9 p.m. So, yeah, a bit later. Okay, so I'm probably gonna skip all of the technical babble now because it's kind of complicated. Um, but when I'm playing guitar on my you know, PC, I need to change the audio settings and the sample rate and uh, you know many things like that to lower the latency as much as possible so it feels like I'm playing in real time. Uh, and I've never done this before, you know, going from this uh, audio setup that I have now while the stream is still up to that guitar playing low latency setup. So it might not work. Just let me know if it doesn't. But um, we're gonna pause Pokemon here and we'll return later. And I will just take a very quick uh, bathroom break and then we'll play some Splatoon songs on guitar, which I, you know, just recently learned. And then... We'll see. So I'll be right back. <laughs> 